Hello everybody, Nightwing Viper here. Welcome to Overwatch. Um, this was a low gold match and I was using Doomfist. Might sound like a mistake, but I can assure you it's not. Hold on a second, let me get to... Uh, there we go. Okay, so again, it might sound like a mistake because Doomfist is usually not a hero I go with because he is a hard hero to use. Probably the hardest in the damage roll, if not the hardest hero of all but um i have spent a lot of time with him in quick play and in the practice arena so i thought maybe i could move on to competitive with him um i did play two matches with him prior to this one and i won and lost one i did pretty okay and i thought i could carry it over to this one and it was a really good game which you guys will see now obviously you know to start off um you know, obviously we can't see the enemies through the wall, but in theater mode we can. So basically, you know, those of you who are looking for Doomfist tips, pretty much the basics is use your abilities as combos, which you guys already know. But I like to start off with Seismic Slam, one primary fire, and then uppercut them in the air, primary fire a few more times, and then rocket punch out of there, which you're going to see me do that. A lot in this match but right here I'm mainly looking for someone to climb up finally a diva does I just I started with a rocket punch there and our diva gave us a really or I'm I'm, I'm sorry our Zarya gave us a bubble there and I just used my seismic slam to get out of there that time not normally my recommended escape ability but whatever works to get out of there is doom fist use it okay so right here I need to look on who I should be engaging. Um, the hero I should be looking out for is that Arisa, because she is probably the hero out of all these heroes that the enemy team has. Her and that Anna probably might give me the most trouble. Yes, Ash could push me away, but the other guys I think I can take out easily. So, and again, we're already a tank ahead because our Reaper killed our D.Va. And again, this team was really good. They were communicating. They were using their abilities quite well. Most, if not all, these guys I was playing with should be at least higher in gold, if not in low platinum at the very least. But anyway, continuing the game. So I'm looking to engage here, but I get sucked back, and that's what I gotta watch out for. Okay, so I'm waiting for Seismic Slam. Arisa's dead. And I'm looking for a kill. Finally, one. Now, right there, I shouldn't have done that. I I used all of my abilities, so now I have to try to escape by just running without an ability. As you can see, I have just three more seconds before I get an ability back. And even though, uh, even though I probably, you know, get away with it here. There, there's only two healers. Maybe that Anna could have slumped me and I would have been doomed. Uh, no pun intended, but that Anna probably could have slumped me here and I would have been killed easily. But I am able to get away. Good backup by the enemy team. Also, I should not have pushed up that close to the door either. Which I'm telling my Reaper to get back. Which he does. These guys were really good at listening. They didn't argue with anyone. They were, you know, discussing strats. This was a really good team. Now, I'm thinking of, uh, you know, going to the right and, uh, you know, getting some damage in that way and then using an ability out. The thing that stopped me from doing it was... If I rocket punch somebody, I'm stuck right in the middle of the enemy team. And then I'm an easy kill. So I debated on not doing that. And again, I cannot see them through the corner, even though you guys can in theater mode, which obviously you guys know that. Right here, Arisa uses a suction. Right here, finally, I, get, I see an opportunity and I just get out of there real quick. That's how you do it, right there. Now, you may not get kills every time. But that's how you, uh, hold on, I think I, hang on, let's wait till we slow this down. Okay, so after that, I know I had to attack quickly since she used that. So, uh, so slow motion, nice little, uh, okay, so I should have used my primary fire, at least one 
for that seismic slam, but... Yeah, sometimes you don't get it all right all the time. But yeah, usually you can sneak in a primary fire shot after a seismic slam, which I didn't do there either. Ne uh, nearly got killed there from that slam, but good job by the healers. Yeah, that was a good sleep by Anna there. Our Reaper was way too close to the door and way too close to the team. So right here I hear the sound cue for Soldier's Ult, and I knew I had to, you know, be around a corner somewhere. But right here I try to get that Mercy, catch her out of position, but I miss her. That will happen sometimes. Okay, so this is a bad engage on my part, because that, uh... That Orisa is fortified, but I think I was trying to, you know, destroy that ult. I knew it could have been problems had, you know, I let it sit there. But, you know, Orisa could probably kill me because she's not going to have her aim thrown off by the seismic slam since she's fortified. But let's see how this turns out. So I'm looking to destroy that thing. But then I see our Zarya use her grab. And uh, <laughs> that... That is awesome. That's worth another look there. So I basically get away with uh, with a suicide dive here because I was going for the ult. And I noticed I get my ult after the seismic slam. So now I'm like, okay, I can use all of my abilities, then just use my ult to get out once I destroy this thing. That's probably what I was thinking um, in this game. But then it turns out to be even better because Arzaria uses her grab. And I didn't hesitate using the Meteor Strike to um, clean up the job once, once she used it. Once it was about to wear out. Which if we go back to that again, I'm not showing this for swag. Now normally... When I use all my abilities, as you see on the lower right, I normally use my ult to escape. and um, Or if I'm going to go in for somebody, I normally wait for it, an ability to recharge. But the grab had been activated for a while now, and had I waited a second longer, you can see it was about to wear out there. And waiting a second longer probably... I probably wouldn't have gotten that many kills, maybe two or maybe three at the very least, but probably not four. That is a great team kill, a great combo of ults. And again, Arzaria making the right decisions. If I had to pick an MVP of this game, it was definitely Arzaria. It's right here. I think I'm trying to peek around the corner and get somebody. But then I noticed that the Diva ult was coming. I don't know whole lot I could do. Right there, I did fire two primaries, but I had an enemy on each side of me, so I couldn't really do a whole lot there. And that... There's my first death, which I don't think there was a whole lot I could have done to prevent that one, because I had a tank on both sides of me. One cutting off my escape route, but... I thought that was an okay life. There probably would have been... I probably would have died sooner than that if not for our Zarya, you know, bubbling me. She probably saved my life at least once or twice with those bubbles whenever I dived in. Okay, so... Right here. I catch the healers off guard. I was looking for a punch there since our team's there. Okay, so right here, two primary, nice, get out of there, nice. That's how you do it, it's Doomfist. Just kind of repeat that cycle, seismic slam, uppercut, and then rocket punch out of there. Your time's run out. Right here, it's just Ash. So um, I was pretty okay with, you know, just using all my abilities there. Right there, she gets killed by our Baptiste. It's just Moira, and then it's just clean up and win the round there at that point. So a pretty good round there for me. Um, again, there were probably times I should have died and didn't. Because maybe uh, Zarya saved me from getting slept, or 
you know, definitely save me from getting killed probably at least once or twice, like I said, through bubbles. That's why I say if I could pick a most valuable player in this match, it had to have been Arzaria. She was really good. Okay, so let's speed this up because I don't want to have to wait too long here. Initiating okay. Only through conflict do we evolve. What happened to you? You tell me, Doc. Okay, so we're just going to fast forward this to, uh, to when the match starts here. Imagine the worst possible and it, First of all, um, before we, before I let the match start, normally this is not a team comp. I would go with the hero like Doomfist, but uh, I thought why not since we had a Zarya and we had two good healers and a, you know, a shield tank. So I thought why not? So yeah, and thankfully it was a great use. Our Zarya was doing really great and I cannot say that enough. She was that good. Okay, so that's the right path I wanted to pick. I normally don't like going down. I normally don't like going down the stairs on the left because, well, Doomfist is slow aside from his abilities. So had I have taken the time to go through there with Doomfist, you know, our team would have already been engaging by the time I got there, and one or two of them may have been killed before I could help out. So. I decided to go up the stairs on the right. Right here, I catch Orisa on Fortified. Rocket Punch out of there, nice. But it's important to hit your Seismic Slams because it gives you a shield boost. Okay, so that's an okay Seismic Slam since Orisa was not Fortified. I don't know why she didn't Fortify there. Definitely could have saved her from dying. But Orisa did get rezzed here. Now, instead of going through the choke like this, I probably should have gone up on the left. Maybe use my uppercut to get up on the high ground, then sneak around on the left side. Um, especially since that Torbjorn and Orisa is fortified. So please tell me I don't engage here. Crap, I did. And I missed the seismic slam. So this could have been bad. Now, I did get bubbled here, and if I had not, I probably would have been killed. So, this is probably one of the two or three times at least Zarya saved me from getting killed. And I just need to get out of there before Overloaded Torb kills me, but there's a soldier behind us. There wasn't much I could have done about that. But he gets killed by Mercy. Real nice. And we get res. Beautiful res by Mercy. Okay, so. Get a grab here. And again, I missed the seismic slam, so yeah. But thankfully, there's a grab there. We do pop Diva out of mech, and yeah, it looks like we've got this secure. There is a soldier coming, but I don't know if he'll get here in time. No, he won't. So... There were times I messed up in the offensive round. I would give more credit to my teammates for the offensive round than the defensive round. And again, if I could pick a most valuable player, it would have been that Zarya player. Because she was really good. She was awesome. And obviously, guys, um, in theater mode, it doesn't show the player of the game. But, I'm, but I would assume you guys already know what the player of the game was. If not, I'm going to show it to you again. <laughs> but this is definitely one of, if not my best play of the games, and I do have it saved. But anyway, guys, um, as we're looking at this play of the game, I do want you guys' feedback as well. Maybe you guys saw something I didn't. Um, you know, and any tips you guys can give is appreciated. So again, guys, if y'all could do me the honors of, you know, being nice as well, um, nicely post your comments in the, or post your feedbacks in the comments. Let me know what I missed, if anything. Um, and yeah, guys, I will see you in the next video. So be sure to subscribe and like if you have not. And yeah, guys, I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Uh